five bananas, and I don't want these bananas to go bad. Lo and behold, Patty Hinnich had a banana habanero salsa recipe. So that's what we're gonna make today. And by we, I mean I, and you're gonna watch me do it. Before I leave the garden and go in and cook, I need to see if I have what I need for my dish. And I'm looking for habaneros. This is my habanero. And I have mostly just blooms, tiny ones, or I have a couple. Oh, look right there. That's cute. Oh my god, I have three that aren't ready yet. So I do not have any habaneros right now that I can use to make my dish, so I am going to need to go to the grocery store for this. Correction. I get to go to the grocery store. I am going to Rancho Market. I live in Utah. This is my favorite grocery store to go to, and I'm certain that they are going to have habaneros and plenty of other things that I probably don't need that I'm going to for certain buy anyway. So let me tell you what the ingredients are. We have two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of salt, a pinch of garlic powder, a pinch of oregano, a pinch of ground chipotle. I promise you I'm going to put more than a pinch, just slightly. One teaspoon of Maggie sauce. I don't have Maggie sauce, but I have soy and Worcestershire that I'm going to put together. Five peeled and sliced bananas, one and a half cup of orange juice, and two habaneros. Okay, so I've got my five bananas that I am peeling. I'm going to slice them. And then I have my habaneros that I have stemmed, I have seeded, and then I have quartered them. Habaneros don't have that many seeds in them, so that's, it's re relatively easy to, to uh, get the seeds out. I am just going to coarsely chop these bananas and... I will put the bananas in my food processor, but I want to get these habaneros, the pieces, a little bit smaller. I kind of want to like pre-blender them. I don't have a blender that I, a, a normal blender that I really like, so I tend to use my food processor to do a lot of things. But if you have liquid, or at least when I put liquid in my food processor here, Sometimes it leaks out, so I found that my small little bullet does better for, for small things. So what I will do is I'm going to combine some of the orange juice with the habaneros and this liquid, or the liquid from this, and I'll buzz it in the Nutribullet, and then I'll put it all together in the food processor. All right, so a cup and a half of orange juice and I'm going to put the habaneros in here. I'm going to put the Maggi sauce, Maggi sauce. So I'm not going to put all of it, but I'm going to put a little bit of it in there. Okay. I'm going to leave my butter the way it is for right now. So let's, let's buzz this really quickly. Now, <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> don't be afraid by my reaction. Habaneros are not that hot. They really aren't. They are nothing but a hot apricot. I swear to you. I'm gonna buzz that just one more, just for safe measure. Do I like it? Oh, there's still little pieces in there. It's perfect. Okay. God. Oh, that smells good. I can just eat this. All right. So, cooked bananas. Here's my 
pre-buzzed habaneros and orange juice, the rest of my orange juice. And then hopefully this liquid doesn't escape too much. What I might do is this. Yep, see, here we go. It's all ready. No! Oh my God. It is escaping. Ow! What is the deal? Get in there. Oh my God. I think I melted my food processor. Melted the bottom of it. by putting it on the stove. Okay, well, guess what? I'm gonna get out my blender. Things don't always go as planned. So, this is the blender that I have. It's not my favorite, but let's hope that it does the job. Okay. You want to blend until smooth. <laughs> moved me. Let's try it. Oh my God. Oh my love. All right. Banana, habanero, salsa. It almost didn't get made because it almost spilled all over my house. So with that habanero salsa that I made last week, I am going to take the Blue Hubbard squash. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I'm going to take this Blue Hubbard squash and I'm going to make tacos with it. 